Hello there. I hope you've been having a good day so far. So, I have just purchased the extra breeding den in DML. And on PC, that's like four pounds, as in English pounds. So, the reason I'm doing this is because currently we do have the Sorin and Roran chain breeding event. And the thing is, I want to be breeding for the Dragon of the Week, but I also want to be breeding for the Dragon of the Month. And you can see that the first breeding den is already taken up. And so for the first time in a good while, I'm going to put in some extra money and um, actually go for the breed on this Trickster Dragon. So, of course, the combination we've looked at it before is the Lava and Eel Dragons. These two, unfortunately, the problem is there are so many possible outcomes with this breeding combo and a lot of them have shared breeding timers. So it's very unlikely that we're going to get the Trickster Dragon on our first try. And we got a 14 hour, 23 minute breeding time. So um, who knows? Maybe it could be what we want, but we have to wait and see what happens. But I mean, to get the Eagle Dragon, it is very, very unlikely that you are going to do it. If you want to see what the actual chances are of you breeding the Eagle Dragon through this breeding combination, and well, it's a, it's a little bit scary, and for this we're using the DML Planner because none of the other breeding calculators apparently ever get updated properly, but here we have the Trickster and the Costume Dragon in the top left in Dragon Selection selected, and these are the possible outcomes in the bottom left hand corner here where it says results. So. If we scroll, and scroll, and scroll, and scroll, you'll, you'll see just how many possible outcomes there are. And the eagle does have a shared breeding time on top of everything else with the iron cast. And if you've got the droid unlocked in the midnight for VIP levels, there's also the chance to breed those as well. So, base odds, it, it says it's around about 1.67%. And there are, let, let's have a count. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 different possible outcomes, not even including the Eagle Dragon. So it's very unlikely that you're going to actually breed the Eagle Dragon. But one thing that I will add that isn't on the calculator right now is that apparently there is an extra 10% chance to breed the Eagle Dragon during the Soarin' and Roaring chain breeding event. And don't just believe me when I say that, Andrus posted this yesterday. He said, we know it's April 1st, but it's not a joke. There's an extra 10% chance to breed the Epic Eagle Dragon during the Soarin' and Roaring chain breeding event. And so this sounds insane because I mean, a 12% chance to breed the Eagle Dragon sounds pretty good, right? But at the moment, the, the problem is they haven't actually clarified what that extra 10% means. Because it could be an extra base 10% on top of the base chance for the Eagle, which would put that up to 12% roughly, which would be very, very nice. But it could instead mean that there's just a 10% higher chance of that epic, which actually the odd for it would be much, much lower. But regardless, the percentage chance that you see on here is not completely accurate, but this is the best breeding calculator that we have that gives you a rough idea of what to expect during your breeding. And then, of course, on top of all of that, you, you need to breed the Trickster Dragon to begin with, and the chance is about 3% for that. So if we breed together the Lava and Eel Dragons, then you see all of the possible outcomes on the side here as well, with four shared breeding timers. So, overall, it is sort of a depressing set of breeds for this week, and that is the only reason that I have decided to purchase the second breeding den. But, you know, fingers crossed for all of us, at least now, if you didn't see it before, you have a general idea of how lucky or what what you'll probably expect from Sorin and Roran, which is nada, zero, zilch for the average player. But if you're really lucky, you might just get your hands on this epic. And if you do, just consider this luckier than getting the Dragon of the Month, to be honest with you, because... The problem with this event isn't just breeding these dragons, it's the fact that you also need the costume dragon to do it. Which means that you need to finish the boss challenge event really early on. Which means, realistically, you're only gonna have like 
three days to even try and breed the eagle, assuming you get all the prerequisites for it. So yes, another chain breeding event that I am not a big fan of, but I'm gonna... For this one chain breeding event, I am going to try my luck, and that is the reason that I bought this extra den. I don't recommend you do it, I'm just doing it for the purposes of you seeing what sort of luck you might get, similarly to mine. And also, I just want to point out that you shouldn't forget that on top of everything, we do also have the promotion on right now where you can get pieces for the Ace Dragon in Otto's Lotto. I've been playing it, like, for half an hour today until it stopped me from being able to do it, so I'm now one piece away from getting the Ace Dragon. I don't know why I never bothered to do it before, but, you know, we've got dragon tickets at the moment, and, um, how about we try our luck? Well, let's try our luck. Can we do it in our first one? You think that's him? It's not him, goddammit. It's not him. Come on, second pack. Do you think we're gonna get him? This is so pointless, I don't know why I'm doing this. There we go, there we go. It took two packs. But we did get him out of it. So there's another new dragon for our PC account. I did already get him before on Android, but you know, anything to push our dragon collector milestone points up, am I right? We're getting closer and closer to that pinata every day. So make sure you are watching ads for Otto's Lotto. You know, if you've got a spare half an hour, just put it on like a second monitor or just do something else at the same time. Like, you don't even have to watch the ads. You know, they Gameloft gets money for you watching them. You get a free dragon. It's just a win-win situation overall. And one other thing about all of the chain breeding and everything else. Just in case you are so incredibly desperate for the eagle dragon that you'll die without it, which is not real, but let's pretend that it is, then that is currently a bundle out with the costume dragon in it, with some gold, some food, and 10 days of VIP for £13 almost. It'll be about £13 on Android anyway. But you can purchase this, and this is very intentional. They give you the choice to buy this bundle because they know that the average person is not going to get the eagle dragon without purchasing the costume, like, right now. So, there is a bundle out. I think this bundle is way too expensive, like, severely overpriced, but if you are an avid collector and you are desperate for all of these dragons, you can purchase that, and I guess you could get two costume dragons then, because you could get one out of the bundle and you could finish the boss challenge event. Then you could parade around going, oh, look at me with my two costume dragons. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, 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 power to you. There is also a bundle out for the Taurus dragon as well if you want to instantly purchase it. I mean, 17 or 1100 gems is quite expensive. And considering you have a full month to breed it, this seems way too sudden. But you can buy it. And then finally, we do have a trickster or jester. Not trickster, that's the other one. They like the same thing, just with different colours. But there's him for £8. I don't think it's worth it at all. I think that is overpriced. But again, if you're someone that wants every dragon in the game, you can go ahead and do that, I guess. But that is all up to you and up to you alone. And I've just been trying to try out the... What's it called? Enchantment material gifting and that. I don't really see my... My ask. Because I asked for... Some fine shadow mats, I think, but I, I don't see anyone that could give it to me in any way. Like, I see the clan book that people are asking for people to donate to, but I don't see my request going through. So I'm not sure what happened with that, but that is a thing as well. So I guess, um, I guess that is that for now. And I'm also waiting for the snow pelt dragon to finish hatching. So overall... We've just got a lot of waiting to do. A lot, a lot, a lot of waiting to do. Speaking of which, let's pop our begonia in here as well. 22 hour hatching time. We're going to have two more dragons to hatch, which means we need two more hatchery slots or two more um, habitat slots. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's just so much to do. Everywhere I look, there's a new thing here. There's a new thing there. Just a new thing bloody everywhere. Is pretty crazy overall, but 
you know, despite all of this stuff going on, do be aware that you can just go ahead and do your normal day-to-day -day stuff overall. Epic chests, don't forget that you might have got the tickets that you need out of the, uh, the special collection when it came out. We got nothing out of that. We got absolutely nothing out of those dual epic chests. This is why I never buy them. Oh well. Oh well, I guess. I guess it gave us enough to get a couple of extra extraordinary mats and that's it. So I guess it could be worse. So there we go. We got one extra divine for Joko. Fantastic. <laughs> Do I just sound more and more dead every single time I talk about enchantment materials? I feel like I do. Because we've gotten to the point where it's just like every day I'll log in once to do enchantment fights. I'll do it once and I just get so bored of doing it. And every time I look at the amount of trinkets that we need it just sickens me. It's like why so many? Does it really have to be like this game? Do you really have to do this to me and my poor soul? I guess so. But you know, there have been rumours about a new element coming out, there have been rumours about new divines being added into the game, because with the new Codex collection we do know that three extra divines have been added. I, I believe it's three. So, anyone's guess as to what they might be? Yes, I've seen the some of the leak images about what it could possibly be but you have to remember that with air quotes leaks and unofficial information it is just that unofficial info so even though i would love to talk about it and i would love to know whether it was true or not we're just gonna have to wait just gonna have to be patient just gonna have to see what happens one thing that i will say about this latest update that is completely unrelated to everything else is that the sound is bugged. The sound is so bugged in game right now. Like every time I open up the game what happens is it starts off really really quiet and I'm like okay I don't know why the game is so quiet but that's like my normal volume for it and then two seconds later as the startup screen comes up the game just blasts out the sound at full blast. Because every single time I close the game, it resets my sound settings. So, every time I change the bar, it resets again. And so I keep forgetting, and every time I reopen the game, I partially deafen myself for a couple of minutes. I just hope and pray that that gets fixed soon because it's really, really annoying. <laughs> Don't know if anyone else has been having it. But I've had to turn my actual DML sound down to like 6% now instead of its old 54% because I don't want to get deafened every time I open up the game amazingly enough. So that would just be a nice quality of life fix. I would appreciate it. Oh god, we can't even add an extra one because it's 280. Ree! Getting so mad. Do you see how many materials we have of other stuff? Like, look at this. Non-legendary and non-divine. We just have so much. So, so, so much of other materials. At least lower grade. Because the higher grade ones, we need those for habitats. And upgrading habitats is quite important, eh? Because it gives us extra dragon spaces. The only problem is that these also cost a butt ton of trinkets. Can we just have an update that is dedicated to giving us extra trinkets, please? Like, I know that we can do that with the enchantment stuff with clans, but it's not enough. Look, no one's asking for materials. Please give me more trinkets, I beg. I absolutely beg of you, game. <laughs> Actually, I just thought we haven't been doing any clan quests, have we? Whoopsie daisy. Um, well, while I'm here, how about we do a couple? We'll do a couple. I'll say I'm sorry to everyone in the clan again like I do every single day. Because I have to be permanently sorry for ignoring everyone in the clan and not doing what I should be doing. 
I'm sorry, it is my own clan and I am letting myself down. I understand. Luckily for us, we do have instant win tickets, so even someone lazy like me can go through and pretend like they've done the, the quest that they should have done. Like, there we go, look at that. All that effort that I just put into doing that, it's tough. It's a, it's a, a long day's worth of work, I might add. You want me to feed a taller shrugger to fine? I don't care that it's 45,000 food down the drain. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, so we can't really do any of those arena fights. We can always do those. Because we've got eight fights that we could do right now. How about before we do that, we actually train up Andy. Where is Andy? There he is. There you go. Auto training. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then we can go ahead and do these eight fights that we need. What the heck is going on? Level 11s? Are you alright, game? <laughs> I love how in the patch notes they said that they fixed the MMR in the arena. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, my first arena fight, I'm gonna go and fight someone with level 10 dragons. Doesn't seem very fair to me. But they, they did say on the forums that, yes, it will be broken for a little while. It's because they are, or well, everyone has to update their games first. So, looks like most of the people that have updated their games tend to be the really lower level players. Which makes sense because, you know, the, the most common person that plays DML, or like the average level of people that play DML is quite low. Because you've got to think, there are tons of people in DML that, you know, are max level, have max level dragons, have been playing for a while. But think about all the people that, like, made an account and then never logged into it again after the first week. That is most people with most games, because people will, like, give a game a try, especially if it's free to play. They'll give it, like, a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, and then they'll get bored of it. So if you take a look at all the numbers, when it gets balanced out, the average level of a DML player is quite low. However, when this happens, I just feel like I'm bullying people. Like, all I'm trying to do is get my clan quest done. I feel like I'm bullying the weak. Like, if I could, I would not be doing this. I would be fighting, like, level 100 people. I mean, there is one there, but that one's too hard. <laughs> I would do it, but not if it's too hard. Alright? Like, I'm going to take advantage of this while it's here because there's literally nothing that I can do about it. Like, is this is this what you'd consider bug abuse when I literally don't have a choice in the matter? At least it seems like gradually the dragon levels are going up. So we're not just going to be murdering, like, 10-year-old children's accounts that they share with their mum. But I do feel pretty bad about it. It just, it's kind of concerning because right now it makes me think that people could probably go for like really high arena runs for free and win. Because I mean, if the fights are this easy, people at like any level could just get an insane amount of points. But at the same time, everyone is logging in to do stuff, so maybe it would balance itself out. It's a good point. It's a good ass point, random person. Maybe, maybe that is the case. Maybe everyone would have the same idea. Like, ooh, we can pub stomp all the noobs, so let's go and win this free arena dragon, you know? I don't like the sound of that. Well, let's have a look at what the leaderboard's looking at right now. Top guy has 186,000 points. So, yeah. That's with two days remaining. So that's quite a few points. So if you are really desperate for the merchant dragon, I guess... Some people are going to take this opportunity to try and beat everyone up. I don't think I'm going to do that. Look at all these four-year badge people. Now, there aren't that many, but quite a few in the top spots of the arena there. But, you know, we've given it our best shot. We got our clan quest done for now. 
So what other ones do we want to do? Collecting gold from habitats, we can't do that yet. Collecting food, we can't do that yet. Oh, we could do it in a minute. That sounds cool. Win more, win more enchantment fights. We can do this again. Because again, it looks like people in the enchantment league are also having the same problem right now. So I, I hope that by the time that this video goes up, all of that is sorted and sort of fixes itself. I hope that by the time this goes up, the sound bug is also gone. Ugh. Such a pain sometimes. Trying to deal with random bugs that just crop up after an update. But to be fair, this sound bug is not quite as game breaking as old bugs that we've had. So it could be worse. Give me some good stuff. Divine. Legendary. If you do, I will maybe make another purchasing game. Take it. No. You're not going to do me dirty like that game. That's it. I even said I would purchase something else in game. I ain't gonna do it now. You didn't give me any legendary or divine. It's that simple. It's that simple. Ah, I'm sick of purple chairs. They never give me the legendary bats I want. Oi! It's like first world problems times 20 whenever I open those bloody chests. Because I'm well aware, right, that most people are a lot lower level than me, and they would kill for even a singular purple chest. But at my stage, it just is so grindy. Makes me feel a little bit ill. But at least I have my Mountain Dew here today. Speaking of which, did you know that Mountain Dew Citrus Blast in one 500 milliliter drink has 70% of your daily sugar intake in it. Did you know that? Probably not, but now you do. I don't know how. Like if you had... Oh my god, look at that legendary! How was this one better than the other chest? What the heck? What, what was that? I don't know why the game like this sometimes. But if you ever actually read the labels on food, Especially like in the West where it's like they have to have all the calorie intakes, they have to have all the sugar, the sap fats and stuff like that written on it. If you actually read some of the ones for drinks, it's actually shocking how much sugar is in all of it. Fruit juice is so bad for you, like honestly. Like the stuff that you buy in stores has so much sugar in it. Even if it's natural sugars, having too many of it is just so bad. And every time I look at a drink, I'm like, oh my god, the sugar. To be fair, for like 10 years of my life, I pretty much only had diet drinks. And then I think about everyone else having the same drinks as me, but none of it being diet. I'm like, oh, whoops, I don't want to collect that. I just think, how much more sugar did you intake in your life than me? Like, actually... Just from companies not making a diet version of their drinks. Or people choosing not to have the diet versions. Because don't get me wrong, I know that lots of people just hate diet drinks as a whole. Like, they refuse to even drink them. I get it, I get it. They're kind of sucky sometimes. I like them though. Do we really not have any other gold stuff to collect? I'm 2,000 away! I'm literally 2,000 away. Do I not have a single place to collect gold from? They don't even exist in heroic mode, do they? Ugh, for goodness sake. That is slightly annoying. I also wish that the servers weren't, like, exploding. Well, that's sort of annoying that we can't do this one right now. Get out of here. I guess we can do our dungeon stuff, right? We could do some dungeon fights. Why am I doing everything today? I don't know. Don't ask me. I do what I want whenever I want. If you are moaning about there not being a, um, a live stream, this is basically a DML live stream. Except 
not in live stream format. But you know, the main reason I want to do this is because I have not been doing any of my daily quests or anything like that in a while. So I probably should, on average. Like, just make one day, just force myself to do everything that I don't want to have to do. As long as I force myself to do it, I'm like, oh, fine, I'll just deal with it. But most days I just can't be bothered to sit here and play DML for like a solid 35 minutes. That's the reason I don't. Again, unless I'm live streaming, because when people are asking you endless, like just bombarding you with questions all the time, it's sort of difficult to even feel like you're playing the game. You just feel like you're doing something else, which is a little bit odd. So I, I think we may have hit our limit for what we can do right now. Like, how much do we have per habitat? Maybe we can do the gold collection one? Let's let's go and try it with these random fire habitats. Do we have 70,000 worth? I don't think so, but... Oh, we do. Like I said, I don't think we do just, but no, we just about did. I'm not doing Dragon Fury quests. Perfect, it's in battle are really annoying. Who is messaging me? Oh. Never mind that. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Arena Battles, I am going to get rid of that one. And Perfect Hits, I'm just going to re-roll all of them, to be honest. So two hours and we can come back and do more clan quests. So, clan, I will assist you. I'm also going to donate some books. But I will come back and I will assist you in our clan wars this time. I hope that we go back up to League 4. Because we went back down to League 3, which is quite depressing, I might add. But I hope that we can go back up to League 4 before the new clan event comes out. Does it work like that? Would we be able to go back up in that time? I'm actually not sure. But regardless of everything that happens, that should be pretty much everything that is going on in DML right now. For now, I'm going to be aiming for more collection completions. I'm going to be aiming for the Dragon of the Month, Dragon of the Week. Chain breeding, my brain is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. But for now, thank you for joining me in this long, arduous uh, day, I guess. It looks so stupid having two Hermes dragons, I can't handle this. I'm going to get so confused seeing them both in there. But anyway, thank you, thank you for listening to my ramblings. And until next time, I hope to see you then.